Hey campers, okay, so as I mentioned in another video, which you may or may not watch, um, we have been asked several times to film all of our modifications or repairs or what we've done to our camper, um, because a lot of you know we like to do our stuff ourselves. Anyways, so today we are going to do the entertainment center and all the many changes that we have made to it. I want to camp with you. It's a beautiful night. We're looking for some fun to do. Hey campers, I think I want to. Okay, so we're going to have Jason point this stuff out while I read off of this major list that I have. <laughs> um, anyway, so we added an outlet in the top cubby. So let's preface everything with the reason why I'm not telling you what we did is I don't remember what I did. She's got to remind <laughs> it's me. It's been a I long time. We, we changed this a lot. Yes. Like this was not yeah, this is usable like a major, for us. Major overhaul here. Along with what we did to the TV in the master, um, we had... Okay. Added an outlet up there in that there side wall. Little white. That's where the outlet's added at. Okay. Um, we added an outlet in the lower cubby, which I am going to show you. We have um, over there. Right over here. And we moved the USB from the front face to the inside of the top cubby and cubby and covered it um, with a picture frame because there was a hole there. The USB was so, here in the front, which just seemed it crazy because then your cords are out there and it just looked messy. So we put that back there. We, there was a little divider there. We put that back there, took the divider out, and yeah, of you course, can see. There was you can a see hole. the holes from where the divider was here. Yeah, but you can't. And see I moved the place. divider to the front. And, uh, um, yeah. yeah, it worked out nice. So there was a hole there. We just put the picture frame over it. Works out. We can trade the picture out and have a picture there. Um, so now that's a hidden charging station versus seeing wires everywhere. Um, we moved the antenna booster from the lower cubby to behind the TV, which obviously you can't see, um, but we did do that. Is there anything you can say about that? It wasn't oh, really go. accessible. Now it's there behind the TV if we need to get to it. I kind of can see it. Not really. Yeah. Okay, we disconnected the cable for the outside and added wire to feed the master bed TV. Yeah, so it's hard to see, but here I cut a little hole and that's where the master bed TV power comes and plugs in the outlet we added here for our <clears throat> walkie talkies and the master bed TV. And then I had the cable ran over the other direction and it just goes into the wall in a hole and that will leave me a good point to describe why or explain why and how we did the stuff we did the cable and 12 volt wiring and I can't remember what else I found is ran in this this void here there's a there's a void on the side of this and then we added these outlets where we added them because there was one originally for the television here and <clears throat> I ran the wire in this void here to add the outlet below and above. Uh, we recentered the TV mount and rebuilt the mount to make it fit in the space. As we said, ours did not function properly. It, it was it didn't work. I don't at know all. what was happening, but it wouldn't spin. Yeah. So Jason recentered it so all the space around it was equal and fixed that. Um, he talked about rerouting routing the wires already. We pulled up when the TV came out. I could pull up this lower panel and get to all the wires that ran to the. DVD or entertainment center that's here. Um, I don't remember the purpose behind it, but some function we had that didn't work properly. And I come in there and found that the wires weren't plugged in. I think it was the speakers yeah. weren't something attached. Something wasn't plugged something. in, but like, you could access all that by pulling the TV off and then taking this panel loose. They had actually had it screwed in place instead of a uh, staple in place. And that's where all the wires were ran through. And that allowed me to move this cable thing as well from one place to another. Um, location it's all kind of coming back to me but i had to i had to think a lot we moved quite a bit of stuff around to yeah. make this functional for us so that was obviously all like a major overhaul but unfortunately you can't really see the hard work that went into it <laughs> however you can see what went into this one we um, lost some storage we did lose some storage but we have maximized all our storage so i feel like it really wasn't a huge loss to us um, but yeah, we added a fireplace. It changes colors, you know, it has, it's an electric fireplace, has temperature, fan, all that stuff. Um, to do this, <laughs> we had to 
raise that up because the fireplace was too short for the hole that the cabinet left. That's not all we did. Um, Previously, there was two doors. <laughs> yeah, there was out. two doors there. You can see the hinge holes that we bought covers for. The door swung out, and it had, I think they called it styles. Yeah. It had the middle style, and then this was at the bottom, touching the floor. And uh, So I took the doors off, and then removed the style, removed the piece. I took the style and split it in the middle on a table saw, and used it to fill the gap, because this yeah. wasn't wide enough for the space. So I used it to fill the gap on both sides, and it centered up nicely. And looking at that, you would it. think we're cabinet makers, but we're and not. And then just raised the bottom awesome. piece up to meet <laughs> to meet where the uh, fireplace was at. And I thought, wow, we got a you know shoe cubby, and we you know we got some slippers under here. Um, apparently, you know, I saw after going to a few shows, this is this is something they do in actual production now with the shoe cubby under the fireplace in some models. So. And then we had these little things that we stuck in the holes where the hinges were at for the doors. Um, we had redone a chair a couple a years ago, tax. upholstery tacks, uh, and they actually matched the colors and everything super well. So we just stuck those in there, and you'd never know that we changed it. Um, but we love our fireplace. It helps a lot to take off the chill. The last trip we went on, which was in March, um, I think we just used that. We didn't even turn on the regular heat. And then we had a little electric yeah. heater in the girls' thing. Um, we like to run it. And, that's and then we'll, we'll leave the fan on sometimes yeah, so it'll to circulate, circulate it. the warm air when it's not super cold out. It's enough just to, to yeah. keep the air circulating. But yeah, so we think that made the entertainment center much more useful to us. Um, and yes. Oh, that was the one thing. Oh, you added dimmers, didn't you? Or were those already Well, there? that's, yeah. I mean, that's something else we'll get to. We'll touch base on, but yeah. Yeah, those dim now. Jason added a dimmer to that, which also is much less headachey or whatever you want to call it. Um... But yeah. It's not really an addition. I mean, we live, um, well, most of our beers love yeah. their time temperature devices, and this guy's just. It's snake. mounted in there, yeah. Yeah, we drilled a hole, mounted it in, and snaked the wire down here and hid the plugs. Yeah. The so less things we wires. have to move and travel, the better for us, anyways. So, anyways. But yeah, that's the um, stuff we did to the entertainment center. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask, and we'll answer them if we can. And please check out our other videos on the rest of the modifications to our trailer. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> hey campers, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the like button. And hit that bell. Hit.